Hey guys, welcome back to Electric Joe Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, we'll be working here on a Dodge Dart, guys. But what we'll be doing actually may help you figure out how to do it on Chrysler 200 as well, since both of the vehicles share the same platform and they share many components as well. Uh, we will show you guys how to remove or how to replace a seat belt. I will be will be demonstrating on the left seat belt, on the driver's side seat belt. The passenger side will be the same way. So uh, stay with us, and we'll explain how to do that, guys. Uh, you need to replace the seat belt if it's malfunctioning, it's part of the airbag system, if the car was in a wreck, you need to replace most likely the seat belt if it was, de uh, if it was activated. Uh, quite a few uh, factors guys go into deciding whether you need to replace the seat belt or not. Quick introduction, every single car we get at the shop, including this Dodge Dart, will be making at least 200 videos. Why? Because our mission here at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully guys, you will find the information helpful. If you need to buy replacement parts, tools for a good price, check out the link in the description of the video below guys. All that will be shared there for your convenience. So, we know guys, okay, we have that uh, 2015 Dodge Dart that we'll be working on. Seat belts are part of the airbag system guys. So. You have to disconnect your car battery at least one hour, guys, before you remove the seat belt. Why? Because that way the airbag system will discharge and the chance for something terribly bad to happen, to explode or anything like that will be l less likely, but it still could happen. So if you're not certified and qualified to work on airbags and seat belts, don't do it, guys. I wouldn't recommend it. So consider this entertaining video, not a how-to video. We have our car battery disconnected if you want to see how to do that the correct way we have the video on the channel so please guys check it out now what we need to do guys let us show you we remove the seat you don't need to remove your seat the only reason we remove the seat is so we can get more room and show you where things are here but now we're going to start guys okay so we need to go ahead and pop that panel loose now Okay, with the clip removal too, we actually have one more if we need it heavier duty. Now, the same thing we'll need to apply to the rear. Okay, they have one more clip right there, I can see it. Perfect, okay, and this one is loose now, guys. Now, let me, let me go to the other side. Okay, I want to go to the other side so I can show you with a great detail where things are. Yeah. You can see everything really, really easy. So, I'm almost inside. Just getting all my gear with me. So, now guys, right here. Okay, on top we have one cover that's going to come off. Just go ahead, grab it. Under that cover, guys, you're going to have a Torx 20 star looking bit. Okay, this is the 20 that we have. Go ahead, remove it all the way. Okay, perfect. Now, we should just have a few clips holding that piece in place. The two pieces should fall apart, guys. If you don't have enough room, you may need to remove the seat, but I think you can do all that without removing the seat. Okay, perfect. Now, this thing slides, okay, right here, you can see. And this is where the seat belt attaches on top. Now, that's the whole bracket right here, guys. You can, you can see you have two bolts on it. So, now guys, okay, we're going to go ahead. Here we have two clips that come loose. Okay, those sometimes they can break, so you may need to replace that piece if it breaks. We'll find a way to fix it. Okay, it came out, two clips only holding it in place. Now, here guys, okay, we need to remove the bottom piece as well. Okay, this bottom piece will need to come out all the way. So how we do that? Okay, we have two clips with a clip removal tool. We grab it there, pull it out, perfect. We have a few on the bottom. Now that's where here things get a little bit more complicated, guys, because we have the seat belt pretensioner here and we're going to see how that thing is going to come out. So now guys, we need to separate the seat belt from the seat belt pretensioner down there. So that cover, I think it needs to open. We'll get a small screwdriver and we're going to pry that thing okay to see if it's going to open we might have an extra bolt or something holding there okay looks like it's holding a little bit there or something we have a few clips So 
So let's see why it doesn't want to come out guys. It went in on this side again. We need to figure out which one needs to come out, the little one or the big one. One of the one of those will stay there and the other one will come off. So we need to really figure out, okay. Okay, the, the little cap needs to go up, I think. For what it seems. We'll get a, a little bit of a bigger too. Right. Ah, okay, just a few clips holding it in place, guys. Now, check it out. This is a complicated mechanism. The two pieces will fall apart somehow here. We we'll need to turn it. So, what we need to do, we need to open now. Okay, this mechanism here. You have to inspect everything, make sure this is the correct thing for your vehicle, guys. Everything because those, if it's if it breaks, what could happen actually? Okay, if it breaks, guys, uh, it may malfunction if it's not installed correctly, and later your seat belt may come loose. So you have to be extremely careful. So now, guys, right here there is a mechanism inside, white mechanism that we'll need to push counterclockwise. At the same time, we'll need to. I believe we'll need to grab that with the uh, with the pliers. From what we figured out, I don't know if that's the correct thing, so always consult your menu. Okay, turn it, and it comes out. Check it out now, the seat belt and the print tensioners, okay, they're separated now, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, you can see, it's not too complicated, but you just need to know how to do it. And we can feed that thing out of there as well, perfect. Now guys, for the seat belt, okay, Torx 50 star looking bit, let us show you here, okay, that's what it looks like, yep, Torx 50, we have one on the bottom, okay, that we need to get loose now, or maybe it's Torx 55, okay, it could be Torx 55, guys, let me, let me double check, because that, that one lo looks a little bit, Loose. What is this one that we have? 55. Nope. So it is Torx 50, guys. Torx 50. But we just need to get it. Uh, okay. We need to hold it a little bit better and just get it out. I thought it's something a little bit bigger, maybe, but it's not. This is the correct size. So let's go ahead. Take it off. Okay. We'll need to use the breaker bar here. So we'll get the bigger tools in action, guys. Okay, if something's not working out, you don't have big enough tools, guys. And those will tend to be super tight. Why? Because they have thread lockers, so they don't come loose, okay, from vibrations, anything like that, because that, that is the safety system of your vehicle, guys. You don't want something to happen, right? Okay, you can hear it, how it's skipping. This is because, okay, this is because of all the thread locker. Okay, it's coming, it's getting there. Super tight, by the way, super tight. Okay, loosen up towards the end a little bit. Still not as easy. But it's getting better. Now, those things are part of the airbag system, guys. Super, super uh, dangerous thing. So be careful not to explode anything. Uh, make sure car battery is disconnected at least one hour, I said, before we do the repair. Avoid hitting the belts, anything like that. So two more on top that we need to remove now. Those probably will be a little bit uh, not as tight. Okay, they will be looser than the other one. 
The other one was extremely tight. We haven't seen one that tight in a long, long time. It does happen sometimes, but not so often. Okay, one is out. Now the second one. Okay, this one is out too. Now guys, we need to pull the belt and I'll show you how to disconnect the wires. You just have to be extremely careful. Okay, grab it. Now, that red thing guys, don't use metal tools, okay, or anything like that. Uh, we will probably, okay, let me grab it with my fingers. Okay, quick, grab it on the side. Okay, and pull it out, but I can. Use a plastic tool, in our case, if you can, find a small plastic tool, I will use it's probably a little screwdriver, but you have to be extremely careful, okay, because you can explode that thing, so this red thing, okay, needs to come up, okay, like that, and the one here, same thing, guys, okay, and this one here, I need to just find the sweet spot. Now, let me explain. You grab it, guys. Okay, let me show you on this thing. You grab it, don't twist it, just pull them straight out. Don't turn. And the seat belt out. The seat belt comes out, guys, just like that. So we got it out. If you need to reinstall it, everything is in reverse order. We took it apart. Make sure you use thread locker. Uh, check the torque specs, all that, guys. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.